time! <laughs> we suck at intro. Yeah. Look, we got more beer! We've got three new beers to try today. Beer! What's our theme, Maz? We don't really have a theme. We suck at not... Theming. We suck at we suck at theming. Uh, we do theming, have them arranged in size order today, which is very important for when you taste beer. We didn't do that on purpose. Because I'm completely lying. Why would you lie to our viewers? Because they don't know any better and I want to make it seem like I'm smarter than I am. So we're trying beer! We've got three new beers to try today. New to us, and maybe new to you because two of them are relatively new. What did we bring? Today we brought Creole Cream Ale by Abita. Cause everybody loves the Creole way of thinking. Yeah. <laughs> and Abita, it's uh, one of our favorite breweries. They haven't really steered us wrong in the past. Yeah, um, I don't so think I've we ever saw had this. Anything. I think it's a relatively new beer, so we figured, hey, let's try it. Second thing we've got is Coco Brown by Kona Brewing Company from Hawaii. This is part of their Aloha series. It is ale brewed with toasted coconut and natural flavors added. I haven't had a lot of Kona brewery stuff, but uh, I know I a couple people. A yeah, I think I've had a Kona in my time, but I, I do know a couple people that like them a lot. And I like the coconut. I, I feel like that's uh, going to be a good dark beer probably to have. And what's our last beer? I'm really excited about this. Coney Island just released Watermelon Wheat. And as with all Coney Island beer, they all have fancy little rides that correlate to what the beer flavor is. And I'm very excited for us to try this new wheat. They did have a summer watermelon I don't know if it was a wheat, I don't remember if it was a watermelon I think, yeah, that was drink, older. But this is their new version of it. I think it's a new recipe, so... And it's pretty new, Ooh. in general. I think this is, uh, they just saw it on their Instagram that they were releasing it, and then we just found it in the store yesterday, so... Yeah, so we it's gotta be it. fresh out of Coney Island, which is, again, one of our favorite breweries. We've been to them, um, they never really have steered us wrong, and Here's why the heck not, one. right? Everybody loves some Coney Island. Well, let's cut the crap and just dive on into it. Yeah? <clears throat> So the crisp and refreshing Creole Cream Ale by Abita. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. What does it say? Creole Cream Ale is crisp and flavorful. That's what I got out of that. Pale malted barley adds a sweet aroma and flavor. Balanced by Louisiana grown Blanca Isabel purple rice for a crisp, dry finish. Mildly hopped and dry hopped with Apollo Cascade and Equinot hops for aromas of fruit and pine. I also like the cover of this. It's like. Yeah, it's very cool. They always have cool uh, bottle Louisiana art. Louisiana style. Yeah. Especially their uh, yeah. their blueberry and their peach and uh, their Rapigator. Not Rapigator. That's a website. Uh, alligator, the Alligator one. What? Yeah, he's got a pretty cool art. As does the Strawgator. He's got a pretty cool art as well. Strawgator's cool. Strawgator well, can't find. What do we got here? This is definitely a light. It is definitely a cream ale. It's as filtered. It is filtered. Uh, definitely, as the title implies, it is an ale, and it is very, very clear. I don't know if that comes through well, but there okay. you go. Oh, that's a very creamy smell. Ooh, it does have it a creamy smells. smell. Mm -hmm. See, one thing I think of when I see, like, Creole, I think of, like, mm -hmm. the dishes that you get in Louisiana, like those homestyle mm -hmm. cooking Creole dishes, like yeah. jambalaya stuff. This doesn't give me that, like, spicy flavor. It doesn't but smell like the, food, yeah. No, which is but, good, but it does give me, like, a... I trust them. I trust Abita very much because, so you know, I. I love all their fruit-flavored beers like the strawberry, orange, peach. Those are all really good. And, and this does smell like a nice, crisp, light ale. It seems does. Like it. Nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy, but uh, I'm excited. I'm ready to try it. Are you? Cheers, bro. Cheers. Well, I was right. It is a very light, crisp cream ale. <laughs> Bravo! It does have that... It is kind of creamy on the aftertaste, as implied by the... It still has that nice tang though, that nice hop tang. You definitely get the um, yeah. The, the it's it's a good balance. It's a good balance between like the crisp, the crispness of like the hops, and at the same time the crispness of the hops. The crispness hops. It's like the crisp flavor you get from hops, and it does have a very dry finish. Um, yeah. I don't really get pine, like it said, but I do get a mix of like a fruity aftertaste. I definitely but, like the aroma hops they use though. It's, yeah, it's definitely. A good, 
Definitely has a great smell, too. I know you probably shouldn't stick your nose always in your beer, but that's where it's going. That's one of the most important things. Like, 90% of what you taste your is nose what you smell. Your nose knows. Toucan Sam once told me to follow my to nose. follow your nose. I don't exactly. think he meant it with beer, though. I don't think he did either. In fact, he'd probably die if he drank a beer. Oh. Yeah, you're not supposed to give animals beer. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. But yeah, they always come out with those with those PSAs around, like, 4th of July time. It's like, don't give your dogs alcohol because it's not good for them. What I didn't realize was such a big, um... That people do that. Yeah. I never thought yeah. to give my dog alcohol. Yeah. People, then again, you know, when I had a dog, I wasn't old enough to drink. So people why would pour I be beer in the dog's dish and stuff and, you know, yeah, give them beer. That. and that's Yeah, don't good. do that. Yeah, that's not good for their diet. That's not good. Like in Beethoven. Remember when they're spilling all the beer Aww, on the dog? But then Beethoven gets revenge. Then he does get revenge. And he nearly kills everybody. He does. He kills, <laughs> but he kills all the bad kids. But what a lovable rascal. Exactly. That scamp. That, that little scamp. Yeah, we re we rewatched it a couple weeks ago and... Yeah, it was a little weird. With Danny Masterson, like Dance. a ten-year-old Danny Masterson. Before he became an asshole. Apparently, I do like the bottle cap. Like the bottle cap's yelling at me, though. I feel like. No, it's excited. Abita. It's not yelling at you. It's like. It's saying pry off cap, Abita. It's no, it's New Orleans. They're all excited. They're True. always having a good time. They are. They're always having a good party. They're actually. Um, that's how I want my funeral to be. So it's now on record yeah. that you all know. I would like to have the kind of funerals that they have where they all get the casket and they dance. They dance their way down because the reason they do that is so you can't find your way back. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, New Orleans sounds like a cool place. Yeah. A lot of voodoo. Voodoo stuff apparently they believe I in. guess the other theme of this episode is three breweries that we'd love to go to. We'd love to go to Obita since we've had so many good beers by them. Bye. Kona would be cool because then we're in Hawaii, right? I'm going to stop you before you embarrass yourself. We've been to one. Well, we have to you go said back. Three. Oh, okay. Sometimes you gotta dance on the video and do the thing and have a good time. Yeah. There was a farmer who had a dog and he brought a new beer to the beer show. Mass, what beer did you bring? Mass, what beer did you bring? Mass, what beer did you bring to the Rubum's beer show? That was really good. Wow. <laughs> Especially for just making it up as you want. Well, our second beer is Kona Brewing Company's Cocoa Brown. It's part of their Aloha series, and it is ale brewed with toasted coconut and natural flavors. Cocoa Brown's distinctive nutty aroma and flavor comes from real toasted coconut blended into each batch. One sip of this smooth, mahogany-colored ale, and you'll feel like you're on a warm, sun-drenched beach in Hawaii. Crack one open. What would you like to say about the beer that you picked out, sir? I think I just told you a good amount about oh, it. Oh, good. Did you notice on the bottle that there's a map of Hawaii? No, is there? I guess not. Oh, wow, there is. Etched in the bottle is a map of Hawaii. That's pretty cool. This is Liquid Aloha. Pretty cool detail. Man, this one already gets points for having a cool bottle. You can't just give points for... Uh, I guess well, you can. Well, gets points for having a cool top. Avita! Yeah, right. <laughs> and this one's like, hey, take a look at Hawaii. Liquid Aloha. Brown ale, I do like brown ales, uh, especially like nut brown ales and that sort of thing. I like coconut beers usually. Coconuts. I like dark beers overall, so this is, I'm a little excited to taste this one. Go sniff so, oh, it is, it's, it's dark, it's but it's definitely brown. Filtered. It's got a nice it's got amber nice brown look to it, I guess is the correct word. Oh, there's like a design in my beer. Look at that. <laughs> Is there really? Yeah, look, it looks really cool. It's like art, like... Oh, a little bit. Like a Mine's got bubbles in it. Yours looks like a fuzzy with the eyeballs. This is definitely coconut. It's very... I get a very subtle coconut, though. Like, it's there, but it's not... Blah. This is coconut. Yeah, it's definitely coconut, though. It's like you picked a coconut beer or something. I know. It's like I taste, picked a beer that has toasted coconut in it or something. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Let's Would you see like to try again? Let's see what this tastes like. That's, some, that's delicious. That's some coconut. I get like a... It tastes like Yoo-Hoo. Uh, yeah, like like chocolatey? It tastes like Yoo-Hoo. It does? Uh, a little bit. I think the way... Uh, I get this a lot with a lot of coconut nut brown beers is that you get... 
the mix of the nut brown which has like a nutty flavor and then the coconut which does not have a nutty flavor believe it or not coconuts don't taste like nuts even though they have the word nut in it um but that coconut flavor and you put them together it always got it's always it's, it's got that yoohoo taste like a little chocolatey yeah i always yeah. get chocolate out of that for some reason i definitely get like a very this is very creamy and it's coconut. very creamy it's creamier than the creole i would think it's but that's definitely what you get with coconut like you never really get a coconut beer that's crisp it's always yeah that's it that's my challenge to you brewers out there i want a crisp coconut i don't even make it a nut brown figure something out make it a belgium make it make it a, a, a i don't know make it something weird make it a wheat Make it like a nice a crisp coconut, coconut wheat. beer. Ugh, but that's the thing. I don't think that's possible. A coconut wheat. But but that's the thing is that the coconut it lends itself well to the dark flavors. It does. That's why. Coconut's always it, good it, with chocolate. It blends well with yeah. chocolate or you with think chocolate coffee coconut. or yeah, that's You don't really like. think coconut wheat. Wheat. Coconut right. strawberry wheat. Oh exactly. actually. Mm. Ah, this is really good. I, this is delicious. I love it. This is a good good blend. Good pick, sir. Mm -hmm. You had a good second pick here. The coconut's not overpowering. And it's not super dark and super thick. I think that kind of lends itself very well. It helps. I mean, I love thick, dark beers as much as the next guy, but with this one, it just it, it balances everything out really well when it's not a, yeah, on a little bit on the lighter very side. Very balanced. Does this mean we have to go to Hawaii now? We do now. Oh man, to visit that's Kona. Just awful. I guess well, we'll go to Hawaii. But we got a map on it, so. Oh good, we'll find our there. way. Right. Did you know that the map of Hawaii? These are all, these are all little islands. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got for you. I like this guy on this thing, on the surfboard. But no, this is called something specific. The longboard? Yeah, but what is it? Like where you paddle? I have no idea. I'd, <laughs> all I know about surfing I learned from Rocket Power. Tito could tell us. Tito would, no, he would tell us like a riddle, a ancient Hawaiian saying about what it is. We would never actually know the answer because we just never understand what Tito's saying, but... He'd know where the brewery is too. Like, it's got a nice head too. So you know it's like extra carbonated and like not extra carbonated, but carbonated in general. And just the way that chemically it's mixed together, that's usually where you get your head from. Mm hmm Science. Nice. You're dishing out knowledge. Not very it's partial knowledge. It's not don't quote me on these things. I, mean, I got a ticket. I'm going on to red. Admit what? You can't come though, because it's only admit one. Ah. I love these bottle cups. So yeah, every time you pop open a Coney Island, you get admit one. So you get one ticket. I don't really know to where. I guess to Beer Town, but this is a cool place to go, I guess. Population U. Po yeah, because it's a ticket for one to get them exactly. a Beer Town. Alright, so. Here's our third burr. Would you like to tell us about it? I would love to. You can ride with us. We don't mind. Just put the bar down and snuggle up tight. Before long, the gravitational pull will have us moving from side to side and sink. Coney Island, where anything is possible, if you're ready to have Coney Island Watermelon Wheat is a carefree ride that pleases the palate. Watermelon and citrusy hops aromas cool your senses before a refreshing first sip opens to a smooth, medium-bodied beer. While the invigorating, this ale rounds out with a pleasantly fruity finish. So now we're having a watermelon wheat, which this is the one I was excited for. Yep, we're up to our final beer of the night and the oh newest beer of the night, I think. Pretty um, sure that's the relatively newest. Relatively new. So Is let's it? take a look at our third beer here. The beer? The third beer. Here. Burr, burr, burr. The watermelon from Coney Island. This is not very filtered. Yeah, like, this very, is, I'm pretty trying. cloudy. This is a cloudy burr. I mean, I can still see my finger, but it's definitely less filtered than the other two. Yep, so. which is cool. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Uh, sometimes that brings out different flavors you wouldn't expect yeah same thing with like harpoon brewery has a lot of their ufos are just unfiltered right we went to the harpoon brewery in uh boston a couple months ago or last year and we learned Those that like way extreme time frames and we learned we that went there yesterday seven years ago <laughs> <laughs> and we learned that UFO in Harpoon UFO beers actually means unfiltered offering. <laughs> so, let's have a sip and see what we think. Well, we gotta sniff it first. We gotta smell it first. I'm skipping steps. <laughs> You're all over the page. You're just a rebel. I don't smell watermelon. I don't really smell watermelon, yeah. It just but smells, I definitely smell wheat. It smells I like got, a regular I got beer. Wheat. I also like got my nose in there and touched my nose with it, so now my nose is wet. Um, 
We'll see what happens when we take a sip. Cheers. Cheers. I got watermelon at the end, but it's more like a bubblegum watermelon. Yeah, it's very subdued. It's like artificial. I'm not saying that they used artificial sweetening in there. They probably used actual watermelons, but it's just, it's got like that sugary taste Yeah, at it's the got end. like that, that, like she said, like that artificial kind of like watermelon candy or like that sort of thing. Bubble it kind of smells like that. Right. I think bazooka zooka bubblegum. Mm. And Bubblicious. Hubba bubba as well. Hubba hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. Hubba bubba bubba. I got the watermelon a little bit more when I tasted it in the front of my mouth. That's definitely true. Hey, now. Yeah, you definitely get that. It's a very light sweetness. It's not yeah. It's not overpowering, but you do get it more at the aftertaste. You don't really get it your first initial tasting. Like, with the first two, you got immediate coconut. Yeah. You got immediately creaminess and mm -hmm. the hoppiness. This, it's... This you taste it, you're like, okay, this is a beer. And then it's... As Coney Island with all their rides, you get it on the ride down. You understand it. You taste it. It's just like, ah, you feel it on the way down. Well, on the roller coasters, you feel the, the heat on the way down. I don't really know where heat. I'm going with that. Yeah, where are you? Is okay. I mean, it's good. It, it's definitely very drinkable. Again, I guess I guess the theme of the episode tonight is like very drinkable beers. Drinkable um, compared beers to the undrinkable beers. For <laughs> very drinkable beers for uh, you know the Memorial Day weekend time, going into the summer, maybe These having some very barbecues and good stuff. Beers for barbecue. You could definitely pick up a six pack and knock back a six pack uh, while you're at someone's house for a barbecue. I don't uh, recommend it though. Safe driving. Well, these are also all very low ABVs as well. They are. So I still no, don't recommend don't finish one. None of them back. Yeah, well, it depends on if you're driving or not. If you are Even still, then you don't. don't be that guy at the party that's true. Like, don't be the don't out be on that, the front lawn. People are gonna drop pieces on your face. Don't be that belligerent person at a barbecue that hey guys, watch me jump into the pool with my clothes on. And there's yeah, no don't pool? Be that guy. Even worse. <laughs> none of these beers are over a six, so they're definitely you know, they're, they're all within the four I'd and a half, five and a half range. This one, so <laughs> Creel. And I'd say watermelon, barbecue city all the way. Yeah. Drink it while you're eating food. It's It would pair well with food. The coconut, I wouldn't really recommend that with food, I'd say. Only I'd kind do. of food I would recommend this with is like Jeez. ribs, I think. Like some like hickory ribs. I don't or eat ribs. Maybe, yeah, so you don't. <laughs> or maybe like some barbecue chicken or something like that. But like hot dogs, so you think hamburgers. Barbecues? Well, I think you could have all of them at a barbecue, but this one I would but definitely I'm saying say. saying barbecue flavor, the hickory, yeah, the sweetness. Exactly. I think that might be too much sweet to be honest. Think so? I think that's too much that's of the me. sugar aspect. Yeah, well, you wouldn't eat meat. Irrelevant. I Erroneous. Mm -hmm. okay, but the other ones, yeah, definitely. Anytime during a barbecue. Anytime during a barbecue. You first crack arrive. Open one. That moment that awkward person arrives, that you don't really want to talk to, but they're there, and you gotta say hey to them anyway, and at least spend about five minutes, but then turns into like seventeen because they start telling you their whole life. That's also good for those right before dinner. During dinner, after dinner, that time that the guy decides to start drinking, you know, the one, the same one, the that one guy. that drinks a lot, that guy. I think we've all been there, Kim. But yeah, this is definitely, there's not as much watermelon as I was hoping there would be. But on the plus side, definitely. it's not obnoxious, overpowering watermelon. I think that would have been, because so. the difference between, like, let's say, Beta versus Coney Island when it comes to fruit-type beers... Coney Island does a special thing with their fruit flavored beers or like the ones that are supposed to have the sweetness. It's always the afterthought. It's never, I, I guess the way that they brew it, it's probably in the first fermentation that they have. It's never in the second. So you're not going to get that body of fruit right away. It's going to happen later. But like with a beta, especially with their like fruity beers, like strawberry, peach, I think they honestly ferment it in all fermentations that they do with it because you just, you taste it immediately. Mm -hmm. And even on the way down, it's like, yep, th this is a strawberry beer. You can never really... And they're both good. There's really no yeah. wrong way to do it. Like, I do love no. all the Abita fruit beers That's that they have. That's their style on so, both of these. Exactly. It's two different styles and they're both great. The opposite ends of the spectrum. I guess it's appropriate that one's here and one's here. It's definitely the opposite ends of the spectrum. We had beer. We had beer. This is a singing episode because we had beer. Well, Kim, we had three beers today, brand new to us. Maybe not new to the viewers, but hopefully be new to you guys. How many are you out there? What did you think? I think we had a great selection, Maz. Good selection. Good we time. Did. Good beer. Um, no, it was good. It was. We did. It was good, good. It was solid overall. This is gonna be a tough one. We did solid. These are all liquids. I think that might be our theme, just barbecue themed. Yeah, probably beers even that you can. This episode will probably come out after Memorial Day, but probably. summer is three months long, so 
you know. Beers that you could bring to a barbecue and bring to a cookout. Beers Have a good time. I'm glad we solved our mystery of what our theme is. We did. We finally figured yeah. it out. Too bad it's the end of the episode. Uh. Uh. What would you think for the strenuous question of what is your favorite beer that we had tonight? That's a tough question. It is. But like there is stressed. an overall winner here. Uh, coming into this, I expected creamy coconut watermelon. They all have their different consistencies, different flavors, different, you know, just different ways things are brewed. These are all three different beers. Um, I would have to say my favorite out of the three that I would drink probably all day at a barbecue, Creole Cream Ale by Abita. They Don't never fail that. me. They're always just great, especially during barbecue season. Like, it's just hot out, but you want a fresh, like, a refreshing beer. You want a beer that's going to be, you know, just, you can have it all night, but you know, not feel like, oh my god, I'm drinking a beer, it's like yep. 90 degrees and I hate my life. No, you're never going to get that because they're just that light and airy. They're just that good. That's not going to leave a pit in your stomach either. So, no. right. My grandma used to tell me that, like, uh, um, if you ate, like, pie crust and only pie crust, that would leave a pit in your stomach. Like, it would make a hole in your stomach. Uh. Yeah, she she ruined a lot That's of food for me. Is that true? I don't believe so because I kept eating, you know, gingerbread crust and so I'm just... So, Maz, what did you pick as your beer? Well, me personally. Me personally. Uh, I would have to go with the Kona Coconut. Kona, 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 Chameleon. Mostly because I'm, I am I think it comes down to personal preference. I probably could have gone well, with yours as your well. that's favorite. I think I could have gone with yours as well, but I like darker beers, and I do like the coconut and that sort of thing. Um, so that's why I'm going with the Kona. It was just, it was crisp. It was, it wasn't heavy, even though it was a darker beer. Um, and the coconut was, was there. And it was, like I said, when I reviewed it, it wasn't really overpowering. It delivered what it so, said. Exactly. Um, and I like the man on the front, and I like the map on the side. That so, man's like I said, cool. That got me some bonus points on that one. Oh, yeah. You did say that there were bonus points. Apparently. Uh, I'm just making up the so rules. Is this like that whose line where points don't matter? We just kind of give things. Yeah, points. you get points. Oh, that. Well, it's the strenuous decision of what was the least favorite beer that you had tonight. See, that's not even fair because they were all really good. But I if know. I had to pick a beer that wasn't in my top tier of just like, yeah, going with the theme, I think is where I'm going to go here because they were all really good for different reasons. But drinkable beers during a barbecue, because that's our theme now. The theme. Um, I'm going to say my least favorite was Kona. All because right, I don't think this is a beer you can drink all day at a barbecue. If you buy a six pack of Creole and you buy a six pack of watermelon, you're going to be drinking that all day because it's just, it's light enough. You're not really going to be having too much alcohol content coming into your body. You're going to be, you know, it, it pairs well with everything. It pairs well with hot dogs, hamburgers, veggie burgers, veggie hot dogs, whatever you eat, it's going to go with it. It's going to go with, you know, salty foods, sweet foods. It's, they're meant for that, especially the Creole cream ale. It's meant for hot days. This is going to be refreshing on a hot day. I think that this might be a little too heavy for the hot days. Hmm. All right. Well, that's yes. th okay. What do you think? Well, that's definitely a good point. Uh, I understand where you're coming from, but it was definitely, you know, my favorite one that I had and I could drink it at a bar. Are you going to like just completely? No. Just no, we're shut not. me out now after not, day because I picked nope. your beer as the worst. No, nope, we're not just, arguing. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. You'll just be on the couch. Later. Whatever. Whatever. I don't I don't care. It's... Well, the beer that I thought was the worst that's nah, harsh well the beer that i thought was my least favorite was everybody probably, gets a trophy everybody does get a trophy everybody gets a participation i didn't not like any of them they, they were all good they were even really good um but i'm gonna have to go with the Cone Allen watermelon is my <gasps> least favorite yes. just because there wasn't as much watermelon as i thought there was going to be in it and that's it. You're really hating on the watermelon here? But that's really it. That was my only knock on it. Um, I mean, you know, this was delicious, obviously. This was really good and really light and, and that creamy taste and everything. As was this. This was light. It was delicious. It was crisp. But it didn't really have, like, the watermelon that I was looking for. Were but you that's looking it. for... But, like, that's the thing with watermelon is that actual watermelon doesn't have the taste of watermelon it's the same thing with banana when you have a banana flavor like when you eat a banana versus like those banana runs oh. two different flavors oh, yeah. same thing with most of the watermelon yeah. it's like 
well, watermelon flavored bubble gum and watermelon flavored candy. It's always super sweet and True. like overpowering. Like this had no overpowering. I'm not saying you're wrong. You can hate whatever beer you want. And you can be. You know, so can you. You can hate my coconut beer if you it's want. It's fine. You can just. The point is, it didn't have. I, it's hard to explain because it didn't have that sweet, co like no, I'm saying coconut. The sweet watermelon flavor that you were expecting, but were you expecting more of that bubble gummy flavor or the taste of what watermelon, which is literally kind of sweet water? I yeah, I, I agree with you on that. I guess this is this does hold true to the kind of the watermelon taste, but I was just looking for a little bit more out of it. You were looking for more like the bubble. I gum, guess bazooka yeah. Bubble gum. I guess, and you know what? Maybe that's what they were going for, and they were like, we don't want that overpowering watermelon taste, and that's fine. I'm not knocking them on it. But, it, it just, like I said, they're all really good. Why are you freaking out? Because I can't make this tough out? decision. You already made it. You already chose wrong. Uh, I did. Well, it's a wash. It's, they're all really good. They're good. Yeah, there really is, go wrong. There really is no loser on this We've episode. We've had bad times. This exactly. is not one of those bad Especially times. Especially because we can't even agree on what our least favorite was. There's no losers. They're all great. Let's just say that. I think maybe you just need to accept when you're wrong. When you're wrong when you're wrong. It's fine. Did we decide how we're ending the episodes now? Well, that's my mama. No, we can't do that one. No, well. we can't end that. So I'm glad we had beer today. So am I. We had three very delicious beers with no loser. They were all winners. You're mean. Apologize to the Kona people. Uh, the people of Kona. I apologize. Well, until next time, we will see you around. Drive safe. Drive safe. But don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Uh, we'll just eventually have an ending somewhere. Right. How can people find us? Oh, you can find us at www.twitter.com slash brewbums. Or you can find us on Facebook at brewbums. Or you can find us on YouTube, which you already did. So just subscribe when you hit that button below. And if not, that's fine. I guess whatever. What about the Instagram? Fine. Oh, you can also find us on Instagram. www.instagram. Slash. <laughs> okay. Rubums. Which you could also find all this below in the comments. I don't think you need to say the WWWs anymore. WWWW. I don't. I don't. What think if it was www.instagram.org.brubums? I, I think. I don't you, think you'd find any. I think you haven't put the WWW on w. URLs since like 1999. I like to type www.google.com because I want the WWW to feel important. Well, until next time, everybody, be good, don't drink and drive, and enjoy yourself. There's nothing about fires. Only you can prevent them. That's it. <laughs> we'll have an ending someday.